Hello and welcome back. We are here continuing our Papal States, uh, Papal States, Papal Roman Republic run. <clears throat> Last episode, we started to mess around in uh, Germany. Uh, we also, ugh, yikes, that's a thing. We also, you know, we couldn't make much progress without either getting pressure or Austria to join against us or to appear like they're going to join against us. And I think perhaps I was a little too afraid of Prussia. Prussia can't really enforce against us very easily, uh, you know, if we were to go after Lubeck or this sort of thing. But right now we have no infamy because we have this really long, drawn-out war with Argentina and Chile, which we eventually managed to win. Uh, we actually don't have a very large military. We're not that strong. Uh, we have five boats as well. We're working on building more in the queue and this sort of thing. Also, last episode, we did have a bit of come up in terms of passing proportional taxation, which is a pretty big deal for, you know, ramping up construction. I think we went from something like 60 construction to 150, and we'll look to keep uh, keeping those numbers up. Uh, for now, we are looking for a rather large war, and I think that we're going to go after Hamburg. We are trying to, you know, for the objective, uh, trying to get like a Holy Roman Empire thing looking up here. And so... I think we're going to dominion these guys, uh, and it looks like it will pull in Bremen uh, right away, and we can dominion Bremen as well, and this combined should equal a large enough amount of infamy that hopefully we don't, uh, hopefully this is okay. If Hanover joins, we might even try and subjugate Hanover as well. Uh, we'll see what that looks like. Um, this is a little bit of a, we are looking to do something that's relatively high infamy. We're going to put Make Dominion on Bremen right away so that they can't just leave the play instantly. Uh, <clears throat> but this is, we're looking right now for something that's a decent chunk of infamy because you always want to be losing decaying infamy because if you're not using your infamy decay, you're losing it. Uh, it wouldn't be the end of the world if they back down. This is fine. And we get... Sweden siding and Hanover siding as well. And Hanover is kind of the bigger one. Uh, we will put uh, mobilize on this front. Uh, looks like we probably will need to make use of, hmm. So the guys who are farther away, we will we'll save for naval landings. I think we'll use the Arabia and the Indonesia HQ for naval landings. And we'll use the Italy guys over here. Uh, to just kind of push in here, but Hanover has joined against us. This is tragic. Uh, we wanted to be friends with them, but uh, I think what we might do is we might just make them a puppet. That way we get military access through them, um, which we is going to be useful for, you know, like kind of getting in, snaking in through here for all these guys. We want them to be a puppet eventually. We were hoping to maybe do it diplomatically, uh, but you know, diplomacy at the end of the sword here. We're gonna go for a puppet on them. Uh, and now they are confident, so they're not gonna back down. Uh, we'll also go for war reparations on a couple of these boyos, but I think we wanna see how exactly this play shakes out. Um, you know, Norway, <clears throat> now they're uncertain. Now they're confident. I think we're also going to need conscripts here. So we are just going to activate conscripts up in places where we know that they are not like having employment problems. I think they are having employment problems in these two provinces, so we won't activate them there. And I think that's it for conscripts for us. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a tough war again, back to back. We are really hoping that no one else joins, like no pressure, none of this. And then we're probably just going to grab war reps off of some of these boyos, probably Hanover and Sweden, and maybe release country slash transfer country. We could transfer Norway. Don't think that's really too useful. We could revoke some of these claims. Don't think that's very useful. So I think it's just uh, taking war reps off of actually just probably everyone here uh, because that seems good. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of uh, 71. That's a lot of boyos. Uh, but we're going to take war reps off of everyone here with our remaining rem maneuvers. And we are probably... This is probably going to be a long drawn out affair again. But, 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 we have 35 infamy to decay. And so we don't mind having a long drawn out affair um, for this kind of thing. Kind of wish that we didn't put Dominion on both of these guys. If this is the case, but it is what it is. Um, it's going to be hard to get anyone in our customs union. We're probably going to build up more military. Because I don't think this is 58 going to cut it. Maybe it will. We'll see. But this is going to be the war for us. Well, things are looking surprisingly good here. We are landing behind over here um, after this succeeds, or even if it doesn't succeed, uh, let's move a couple guys over. I think the next time we land, it's going to be on Sweden just to try and get a little bit of war reps, um, you know, extra. We do have this five stack doing nothing. Uh, I think we will 
Actually, the seven stack is over here, right? So why don't we land with the five stack and the other guy on Stockholm? Or, you know, this is the five stack. And where's the four stack? He's involved in a fight. So why don't we land, I guess, with the eight stack from here as well. Uh, looking to uh, get one of these guys to catch the navy. And the rest of their military, I think, is just all tied up here. And so I think we can get in with just the double landing. But looking to make sure we get war reps and enforcement on everyone here. Um, so that we, you know, we pick up the three subjects, all the war reps, and are just in a good spot here. Kind of moving into the Holy Roman Empire. Which really is Roman. You know... We're not joking. It's going to be Roman, at least right now. So it was looking quite good. Now it's looking kind of sluggish. Uh, it looks like Sweden started leaving a majority of their troops at home, or they always were. And so now things are progressing a little bit slowly. What we're going to do is we're going to try landing in Bremen, and we hope that they do not make a detour. If they make a detour into Hamburg, that will be not Big Nice. That'll be the opposite of Big Nice. And so the reason being because we don't want to enforce on Hamburg yet, because Hamburg is keeping our uh, war support stuck at zero. Um, so we will designate the strategic objective of Hanover and hope that they push towards Hanover instead of Hamburg. Um, that makes a lot of sense. And then we will just do a triple landing here. I think we will get in. I think we will enforce on them pretty quickly and then enforce on Hanover and then look to just white piece Sweden out of here uh, because currently, like, we really... Our military needs a little bit of a break. Um, it is uh, pretty exhausted, you know, both from this fight, which has gone kind of longer than I had anticipated, longer than I hoped. Um, you know, we've added a ton of battalions, but we can't... We have to hire up. Uh, you know, we also have to hire up the navy's been getting repeatedly shellacked coming on in and so we have to hire up on that as well we're also adding another 10 boats and so all of this combined makes it so we kind of just want to get out of here uh and you know take our ball and go home of course the opposite of what we wanted to happen kind of happened and they started pushing towards hamburg we unassigned some boyos because we are not looking to enforce on hamburg we are looking to enforce on you know the other little guy and also on hanover and so this is kind of why we're focused on getting in here we are having a bit of trouble uh getting in and pushing back here uh that will be nice we will swap over these pms but um, so far, this is looking not the best. Uh, you know, we actually have a few PMs to swap over. Yikes. Uh, I think we'll go independent artists here just to look to gas up uh, the intelligentsia a little bit. Uh, we don't want to do this because I don't think we have enough whales or any whales. Maybe we do have a little bit of whaling. Nope, no whaling. Uh, so that's not going to make uh, a bit of an entry yet. Uh, but yeah, we're getting pushed back here. Hmm. We'll have to try and do a bunch of landings, but we are our forces are very spent at this point. Between this war and the war in South America, just kind of draining us out. Uh, we we do need a bit of come up, and like uh, we can't just like throw money at this. Unfortunately, uh, we could if we were already like fully recruited in all of our barracks, but our barracks just have to recruit back up. So a little bit rough. Uh, also, morale's low. This type of thing. Okay, so we managed to get the enforcement we wanted, which was just on Bremen, and now we are managing to get the push we want into Hanover. Uh, this way we can enforce on Hanover and then land Hamburg, who is the primary war goal on. Maybe we will go after the Sweden war, Swedish war reps after all. Uh, we'll need to do like a little bit of a landing, but it looks like they're starting to get pretty spent out as well. They didn't reallocate troops over here. I think we do need to pick up a tech. We'll, uh, we'll hurry along mechanized workshops, I think. Man, very, very tempting tempting to go uh for you know general staff though because that is hampering us quite a bit actually let's go uh central banking because we do want to be able to bankroll people which we currently cannot i think we also will be looking to uh expand specifically this stuff that way we can um you know upgrade the institution levels and this sort of thing uh so 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 tempted to uh switch to laissez-faire here but i think we want to keep trying to dump paper into people's markets that's the whole point here we are subsidizing this and then dumping paper into their markets and we're going to continue to do that uh we're going to look to build this up to high enough economies of scale we will put that in the queue and then behind it we will build this up to the current economies of scale uh even though it's losing money and the reason being uh we want to make everyone else dependent on our paper because memes uh mainly because uh in terms of getting someone dependent on any of your goods and these guys are not even close to dependent on our goods they're just taking about 150 from us um 
if we cripple their paper market when they go to war with us, then they will lose all their ability to tax. This is the hope, this is the idea, and this is what we're going for with the paper states. Also, paper states, obviously, frankly, paper states. So we enforce on Hanover, and we actually do manage to get a landing in on Sweden. Now, I'm not sure if we can sustain this sort of thing. We're moving over generals. Um, we do need to come in and do a landing on specifically Hamburg, uh, so we'll do that now. Uh, whoop, nope, actually, we have... Uh, wait, did we enforce on them? What's going on? No, we're just occupying them. Okay, perfect. Um, so, yeah, they're decaying here, and we'll just look to also get it in on uh, specifically... Specifically, oh, we'll just look to also get it in on Sweden. We will uh, land with our remaining guys. This will probably be the last landing we do. Whether or not we enforce on them uh, will remain to be seen, but it seems just like a little bit more extension. And checking out our infamy, we are down below 25, but we still have relatively high infamy, so we will probably just chill, look to uh, kind of get our resources back up we subjugate hamburg so it's now just us versus sweden we want these war reps we will fight for these war reps and it looks like we will be decaying them at a pretty good clip mm, maybe we need to kind of oh there we got so many over there yeah this seems fine the way we have it set up we are getting close to enforcing on them but it looks like, ah, oh man, we're gonna get bricked by this stupid freaking thing. So, this is one of the more frustrating war things uh, in Victoria 3. If we have a peace deal pending towards us, we cannot refuse the deal. We can't right-click this to dismiss it. The only thing we can do is click here, which will automatically accept it. Uh, we cannot alter the deal, this sort of thing. So we have to not get capitulated in 21 days, so we can send something. And it looks like we're gonna get capitulated in that time period, uh, and so oh looks like they wouldn't have accepted anyways all right fair enough but often it hits the point where you can't get anything you can't get like a partial war deal or any sort of this thing because you get bricked by them sending you a peace deal which is just like the most asinine thing ever uh but we don't get we don't get any sort of reps from them but we do get uh three subjects here and a decent amount of war reps uh let's just take a look at how much we're getting from each we're getting from bremen we're getting 800 900 ish total from hanover we're getting around 6k and we're getting 1200 from hamburg so this has been very very productive and we'll probably look to you know find another war after we recover a little bit just you know probably in a little bit of a chill mode a little bit of a recover mode for the time being here. I think we're gonna end up being spectators in this war, but it is looking big chonky between Prussia, France, Russia, the UK, and a bunch of little tiny miners. Uh, we are seeing some, well, actually, maybe we should reload and join in on this because the North Rhine, that should be part of the Holy Roman Empire. Maybe we will have to release it ourselves and subjugate Hesse. We don't really like that. Humiliate Prussia, we're fine with that. Uh, and transfer these boyos. Hollertsen? Where even is Hollertsen? That's like unhinged. You're really just transferring this guy to be relegated into... Hold up. Where are you? Where are you? This is being transferred to Russia? This is gonna be Russian dirt? Is that what you're telling me? Holy hell. Uh... I mean, I don't think there's a whole lot we could do. Uh, I think that we're not gonna... <laughs> I mean, we don't like whatever's going on here. We want no part of whatever this is. But, yikes. Um, okay. Uh, no really good law passes here. We kind of want to stay on oligarchy. Uh, I guess we'd kind of be okay with technocracy, but it is locked behind tech. We don't want to go to some of these voting systems uh, that are a little bit more liberal. Maybe landed voting is okay here. Uh, it will make everyone happy. But specifically, the Roman landowners, we want them to be powerful enough that they can eventually help us swap back to theocracy. And still waiting, still looking evermore for our dear friend who can give us state atheism. We're really, really holding out for an agitator. We've been looking. There's no one in government who can do it, although this guy's now market liberal, big nice. Um, we have this uh, radical in government, which is not exactly what we want, at least for this run. Uh, we are looking for someone to give us state atheism. So this is big, not nice. And, you know, it's... This is fluctuating wildly, but I think we're okay. 
Um, but yeah, so as far as law passes go, we do want to stay on religious schools. We want to stay on charity hospitals so that we can go back to theocracy relatively easy. Um, once we manage to get, you know, uh, state atheism, uh, because it's going to give this mind reduce 50% Roman Curia devout, uh, thing. And so we do want to be able to get on that. I, I mean, I guess, I guess for our next war maybe we try and sort out our future population issues by going after Xing but Xing's probably got yeah they've uh, they've managed to acquire some military PM so maybe that that ship has sailed and we're just in this weird spot um, we still have a lot of you know infamy to go uh, to decay down and we're just kind of chilling for now but um, we yeah we also got springtime of the people uh, which is really not ideal uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, do we complete it if we just get rid of our radical? Either it has to not have the... Okay, so currently... So what if we just... <laughs> can we really just get rid of it this easy? Okay, we're gonna do this. Can we really just get rid of it this easy just by exiling the spoil? Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> we just get another one perfect how we drew it up uh you know what we should do is we should invite a guy who's not radical who is uh a here we should sort by these guys so this jingoist whom we don't accept so we can't divide him. Well, uh, unlucky. Clearly just a luck thing, but, uh, what a bummer. Can we just get the high roll one time and not just randomly roll a radical? That's, like, pretty obnoxious. I guess we can exile him in five years, though, in 66. So we just finished upgrading these to level 21, and then we got mechanized workshops, so now the new economies of scale cap is 30, and so we're just going to increase them up straight away and look to continue to dump paper into other people's markets. Um, currently we're dumping 150 into Prussia, 150 into the UK, uh, and this is creating huge demand, at least on our part, for these goods, and so we're going to take another look at if we can import these goods uh, to help prop up and make our paper cheaper, because we don't want to necessarily be paying too too much for that um and then what was the other one wood ah uh, yes wood from scandinavia brazil and the French. and so this was big nice we got a defensive pact offer from the uk i don't think so although we would take an alliance with the uk uh that we would be amenable to uh and they would not of course tragic um so we get echoes of revolutions uh, that we can spread to France, uh, for free. Uh, I guess we will do that. Um, yeah, super unlucky this Boyo just re-rolled Radical. Uh, otherwise we would have been able to get rid of, you know, our big nastiness right away. And, of course, uh, still forever waiting for an agitator. Just tragic. I think they're probably more likely to roll on Intelligentsia. We will, uh, in five years, if we only have one Radical, we'll exile him. Otherwise, we'll look to exile a Moderate. But it, it looks like Prussia is getting a proper shellacking here. Maybe we declare war here in North Germany while they're a little bit busy? So now we're going after Hesse Cassell here. Would not be surprised to see them back down. It looks like Prussia is not joining even though the game said they were likely to join, this is probably because they're getting big schmacked. And once we take this, they will lose uh, access to the left. And so maybe we can even decay them out of great power status kind of earlier or ahead of schedule for this. And so this is looking pretty nice. We are puppeting them, so this is quite a bit of infamy. We have gone to, you know, infamous again uh, off this. And they get back down, which is super nice. This way we don't have to fight them. And now Prussia loses access, market access over here. And so Prussia is on their way down, um, just, you know, kind of off the back of this. This is, like, really, really, really good for us, um, you know, on this front. You know, let's see what this is about. We're not slowing down anything. Or, I guess we could in Umbria. But these guys are still marginalized. We don't really care that much. Um, but, yeah, uh, having a bit of a come up here, we are, you know, increasing the paper yet again. These roots are increasing in size, and so we're kind of maintaining a decent kind of balanced thing. Um, 
looking to eventually kind of pull the paper out from under these guys to cause revs to cause problems uh, because we are the paper states but i think we're going to conclude this episode and the theme of this episode has been chaos in north germany we do manage to get pick up four subjects here in addition to the one we had before uh let's just take a look how much we're getting from diplo packs uh, we're getting 26k from diplo packs a pretty solid amount expecting to see the argentina argentina and uh you know, Chile ones grow quite steadily over the course of the game, because they usually do, uh, but we are getting all these German states as well, which will also kind of, they'll consume a lot of the stuff from our market, which is going to be super nice. We also have been kind of behind the scenes, been increasing this university. I think we're going to look to push it up to 31. Um, as quickly well not as quickly as we can we'll probably look to push construction a little bit more first uh but uh trying to catch up on some of these techs we have central banking coming in for next episode so we can start bankrolling people looking to get them in our market look to do the italian unification sort of thing uh currently as it sits uh we have sardinia piedmont in our uh or sorry we got two sicilies in our group so they are supporting us and we can try and get uh, more people support Oh, did they not support us? But they're they're in our customs union. What's that about? Or did they leave our customs union? No, they're still in our customs union. Well, we'll sort that out. We got the fancy, fancy Roman market. Uh, but yeah, this has been a fun episode. Uh, you know, it's been a little bit tense. It was very, very tense. Very close war. But we managed to squeeze through it. Now I'm feeling like we're in a good spot. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. GDP's stalling out, though. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one.